Wrap your hands around some asymmetrical gameplay. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with the folks at Nintendo to learn more about the Wii U's unique controller, the GamePad. The new Wii U GamePad is the new controller that has a touch screen built into it. It's its own screen where you can watch your games on that screen. It has tons of ways to basically put you into the content that's happening in your video games in ways that have never been done before. I can actually play using the Wii U GamePad and add platforms in to help the other players. Because every time I tap the screen, it gives them a platform so I can work cooperatively with them or competitively by disrupting them and putting one in front of them, which isn't really very nice. So another great game coming for Wii U is Pikmin 3. One of the unique features using the gamepad is that it's actually your map. So you can actually see where you are in real time and you can put this kind of rested by the TV or close to you on the coffee table so that it doesn't disrupt your game by having to exit the actual fun that you're having on the main screen to look at your menu. Can you explain to us what asymmetrical gameplay is? Asymmetrical gameplay is what the Wii U gamepad is all about. It offers this second layer of vision into the game that's happening on the screen. And it allows you to have a different perspective for the person that's using the new Wii U gamepad to what the perspective is for the other players who are using the Wii Remote Plus controllers or the other accessories. So this is one of the Nintendo Land attractions that really shows off what asymmetric gameplay has to offer and what this integrated second screen on the Wii U gamepad has to offer. So I'm looking at this screen. I actually don't even need to look at the TV. So I can just look here. And I'm controlling this character here with the bow and arrow. These two other characters in the front are these two using swords. So you're working together cooperatively to get to the end of the level, but the experience that the person using the sword versus the person using the bow and arrow gets is totally different. It brings a lot of familiarity. There's tons of buttons, dual analog control sticks that are clickable. All of those allow for different button configurations and different types of games for whatever the developer dreams up. It also becomes your TV remote. You can turn your TV on and off change channels and there's going to be other functionality available. It becomes a portable gaming device that still resides within the same room as your console because you can actually take the content for some games off of the TV screen and then play your game directly on the screen of the Wii U gamepad. There's motion controls built in, there's a gyroscope built in. So it's super technical with what it's able to offer and developers are going to have a lot of fun with it because of all these different features that it has. It's got a camera built into it, and we've shown that you can use it for video chat between other Wii U consoles. There's a microphone built in, which helps with video chat. There's gonna to be tons of creative ways that the camera and the microphone get built into games, and there's still more that we haven't even announced yet. Thank you very much. Thank you.